So shout out to the divers. They're yeah. absolutely amazing. But here we go. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Go ahead and play the video, Silas. Hit this guy. Oh, uh, that's what we're hearing, apparently. Let's take a look from our flight oh. factory. Oh, oh. my. Ah. Oh, we... <gasps> wait, what, bro? Uh, you, uh... I don't Have you seen this, Yuli? Uh, no. Like I can't see it. It's blurry. That was, <laughs> that was cool. Uh, <laughs> don't tell that to Silas. Yeah. Okay, uh, we, we are on know. hole seven here, the par three. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to the whole seven people too, though. They're getting, they were getting a little rowdy. I like it. I like it. Trying to get a little environment going over there. We're on hole seven. The divers are actually in the water here. Yuli. Yeah. One of the divers is in front of the sawgrass. And for those that don't know, like the OB line is pushed up pretty far past that sawgrass. Like it's, um, it's a good, maybe 15 to 20 feet off that sawgrass water line. Yep. Divers about 10 to 15 feet in front of the sawgrass. Madison Walker throws her shot, turns it over, clearly going in the water, has no chance of going in bounds. No chance. Diver jumps out of the water, knocks it down. So they're easily able to grab it and give it back to <laughs> Madison Walker. Out of the air. Okay. So, like, first off, just a weird thing, like seeing a merman, a merman jump out and, like, swat the disc now in the moment i think madison actually was very i someone i heard someone say that she might even yelled to like hey get that or something like that and we've heard Paige pierce do this to terry miller we've heard heard this before where it's like yeah. hey get that disc for me and i she was actually uh very pleased zach melton caught up with her and said i talked to madison about it it was shanked towards the water bad shot no chance of it landing in bounds apparently everyone flipped out on the diver for trying to catch it. She hates he's catching flack for it. Literally said it was a terrible shot. I think Madison was actually kind of happy. Um, Madison was kind of happy that she got her disc back, right? Yeah. But here's the thing, Yuli. There is a rule in the rule book. Courtesy of our friends over at PDGA. And this was something that me and uh, Aaron and Ezra did like a deep dive one night oh, a couple yeah. weeks ago. Interference. Because we were, we were, yeah, we were talking about, can you, like if, if I had my disc and I just chucked it at your bag, can I stroke you? And being like, your bag was in my way, right? And we learned that that actually is not how the, that rule works, but we kept deep diving. And Aaron found this rule. And it goes like this, guys. A thrown disc whose course was intentionally altered by someone other than the thrower is given a position at the point of contact as agreed on by the group. The thrower may choose to play it from that resulting lie or they can abandon the throw without penalty. And in which case the original throw is not counted in the player's score. So what Madison Walker could have done just re -throw. She could have said, hey, that guy intentionally altered my disc. I'm going to abandon that throw, and I'm going to re-throw with no penalty. And that that would have been that that honestly, that's what she should have done. <laughs> that's a crazy rule, Yuli. I don't know. How much I mean, Hunter, Hunter, Hunter was saying, like, when I told him this, he's like, oh, wait, so like. At New London, I can, if you know, one of your shots are going out OB, I can just sprint after it and swat it. And then you get so to I, just. I did that once at, you know, that little, what is it, hole six? Yeah. Seven. Hole. What hole course eight, are we talking about? Hole eight at Fountain. Okay. The little peninsula. Yeah. I threw one, guy ran over, smacked it down. I told my group, hey, I can play that shot. And they all called me a cheater. Oh, because you can, yeah, you can play it where it was hit. He smacked it down right by the bucket safe. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, that's my lie. Yeah. And they're like, it was going 100 feet out of bounds. And I'm like, I know, but I can say. play it there. I ended up not. <laughs> and I took it my meter in. And I'm like, you guys don't know the rules. Like, that's, that's legitimately my lie. <laughs> and then afterwards, I forgot, I won't name drop who it was, but they were like, they made like a thread about it that Paul's a big cheater and all this stuff. And then the then um 
my buddy posted the rules on it or whatever. And one of the guys messaged me. He's like, dude, I had no idea that was an actual rule. It's still bull crap. It's and a terrible I'm like, rule. It, to- it's a ter- it totally it, is bull crap. It's but a terrible rule. It's a rule. Like <laughs> he hit my, he hit my disc out of the sky, bro. <laughs> what do you want? From oh me? man. I, yeah, I thought that was, I thought that was pretty fascinating that that is a, uh, that is actually one of the rules in the PGA. It does not, does it surprise me at all that that's a rule that the PGA somehow came up with? No, not at all. Um, is that a rule that the disc golf pro tour should have? Absolutely not. No. Yeah. But what happens when a guy runs out, hits your disc out of bounds, just smacks it out of bounds on purpose, like a, like a rage monster, like a happy Gilmore situation. See, and, 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 and that, and that PD's discretion. Case, yeah. I was going to say in that case, I think it needs like the massive Walker case. Like absolutely not. You yeah, don't my get a case, re-throw. Absolutely not. At your case, absolutely not. Someone throws a roller and someone runs out and kicks it, then yeah, that needs to be rethrown for sure. Even if um, it was going way out of bounds, no. I mean, like, what would the NF what would the NFL do if someone if someone ran onto the field during a play and tackled a player? They would probably <laughs> replay the pl- they like would- I would go to jail. I know, but they probably don't have like a rule that's like specific. They, they might actually do, but it, it's probably like it's probably a re like the play doesn't count replay. Yeah. Right. Like that's, that's how I think I would do it. And also, yeah, I mean, obviously you like send these people to jail or not.